Hey guys, Sandra here with another FFB War of the Visions video. Today, I want to be starting a new series, sort of, for farming and grinding, and we'll be calling it the Weekly Grind. Okay, though the Daily Grind actually sounds better, but I think this should be a weekly thing instead of daily, since the new events usually drop every week or so, so I think it makes more sense to do it weekly, but uh, we'll see, okay? So I've been wanting to start this type of video since launch, but never managed to find a time to do so and now i finally have time to do it you know to sit down you know like prepare for this actually i prepared like in advance but anyway that you know like new things keep popping up also recently i saw a post on reddit with the same concept which actually makes me want to do this even more uh, the way that he did it is really organized so i kind of like his formatting so i'm gonna use that like as a rough guide for this video so thank you user zamzuki for this post uh, i'll link his post in the description below for those of you who are interested uh, he actually does it daily or almost at least almost daily so yeah okay here we go let's start off by the most basic things that we should be doing like those brainless things that we should be doing the all dailies okay so then we'll talk about daily limited events and then finally seasonal events okay limited events that comes every two weeks or so these are the list of daily quests okay if you have been playing and clearing dailies you will be at least royal rank 2 by now and can collect these rewards to be honest it's not much it's 30,000 gil two skip tickets and one bronze xp cube and the next just by logging in guys you get two free energy pot which will be extremely useful especially when you are aiming to farm for certain events one good example is the final fantasy tactics ex events that uh, just passed so right now we have a new event so anyway the next thing to do is clear a hard quest okay so clear a hard quest on world quest you will get one exp player exp and three exp cubes 20 points to daily progression which you will need a total of 100 to collect it i'll move on to this okay so supposedly the next thing on the list is the story quest just clear five times you get one exp three exp cube and then 10 points to your progression points so the next thing on the list is make an item purchase okay so purchase one or more items on the shop you get 10,000 gil and then 10 points to your progression points okay so all these are really easy to do you know it's like you can take like five ten minutes to actually clear them okay so supposedly the next thing on the list is actually clear a multi quest so just join any multi and you clear this done you can host you can actually join whichever way that you prefer they will reward you one player exp and also three growth egg okay this is for vision cards it's not much but it helps with your progression okay next on the list is compete in the arena okay just do one time even just once you can get this one player exp 5000 gil and then 10 points to your progression okay and then enhance an equipment item you can just level them one time and then you can clear this okay really easy this one actually gives you 20 points so just take note of that and then it actually gives you by adamantite okay for doing this quest and then finally perform a normal summon the normal summon is usually free a day they reward you 5000 gills and then 10,000 points okay highly recommended since the free material summon is actually worth like 100,000 gil or something okay and then uh did i miss out on anything okay so and then collect items found during chocobo expedition whenever you do your chocobo expedition you're done with this okay it's 10 points and then uh, we have in global a perform a video summon okay so just watch an ad and then you get 10 points you can actually skip this if you don't want to do this uh, so it's actually fine 100 video summons actually give you like 200 visuals or something so a total of 130 points that you can accumulate throughout this whole list so be sure to do that okay the rewards okay so basically all the fragments here okay look at that this is actually really important the fragments that you cannot form outside okay fragments okay they actually give you some visuals Okay, 60 visuals in total and then the 10 royal points. One rock elemental each day. So it is like a slow and steady progression. Okay, so pro tip, uh, what I usually do is just, you know, just click on a challenge and it actually brings you there, you know, automatically. Most of the time, they bring you to the right place, but sometimes you just got a manual a bit, okay? Uh, especially in the story. Okay, so just do this, you know, it's free. And then they usually give you some gold stuff. So it's just fine to just keep it. Okay, so otherwise it's 100,000 gil. For some reason, if you have like spare gil, you can actually do this to get some material materials and shards as well regarding the dailies what i usually start off with the day is by running the hard quest since they use up most of the energy and more importantly they give you shards and of course limited to only 10 a day okay which i already completed so i recently put eileen so i have a exact total of five ur so i just farm for them shards before that i just farm for whatever mr since shards are very limited when it comes to farming so make sure to utilize those
useful stuff. Okay, so right now I have uh, Medina, Eileen, and Angerbolt right here. And in this map, I have Stern and o Older. Okay, then next, I want to talk about the daily limited chambers. Okay, oh, I kind of missed it. Okay, in the far planes. Okay, so I go to events. Daily limited stuff is in the training here. Okay, uh, I will talk about this in a bit. So these are the stuff that you should be farming every day, three times a day. Okay, it says three times a day, except for these two. Uh, on the weekends, they actually let you farm free flow. Okay, so try to do it. You know, so to stock up on your gear. Okay, gear is like so important. So basically, you need all these materials to level up your character's gear for practically everything in the game. Materials to level up your gear, your vision cards, and also limit break abilities. And if you are mostly done with leveling up your character's job right now, okay, uh, you can actually do this. Okay, the training chamber right here. Okay, so this is actually a great time to be farming for red drop materials since, you know, drop two times. Okay, so even though they actually say red here, but it actually looks more like pink than red, okay. So try to do this in multi since they are really expensive to run this alone. Okay, 30 energy just to run this solo, okay, uh, especially in uh, level 2. In level 1, you can actually run this in a story mode, so it's actually fine. But the red ones, pink or red ones, you can actually only farm it here. So if you really want to improve your character's job, you know, it's a show fire to up their stats and, you know, to make them stronger, this is the way to go right here. As mentioned, try to do it in a multi. Okay, so in the multi, they actually give a minor discount, 6 energy, so a total of 24 energy for this one. You can host or you can join you know depending on the time of the day some people might be hosting randomly you know or you could be the one that is hosting you know 24 energy to run this okay now that we are done with the daily stuff let's talk about our current limited event okay i realized for this part of the video i actually prepared based on the final fantasy tactics ex event which is quite a bit of stuff that i covered uh, but anyway the event is over so let's talk about what's available right now okay this is the one right here equipment training quest brutal difficulty this event will last for at least another week or so it says it ends in nine days i actually briefly talk about this event in my previous video but today i want to talk a little bit more specifically the rewards now that we already know that this is not a quest that everybody can auto it easily but it shouldn't be much of a problem if you try to manual this quest and that is if you have been playing for a while at least okay not like a day one account something like that if you can't do it and if you have at least a strong character then you can at least try to host or join a multi and hopefully to complete it with all the other strong single units that others have okay the rewards are pretty straightforward it's the same as the previous final fantasy tactics event except there is no medals to exchange this time but instead we have two types of equipment we can farm for which is the smart coat right here and then the golden helmet in golden helm so both smart coat and golden helm provides a ton of hp and okay this is some other stats which i will be covering in a bit so if you click on the magnifying glass you can see all this right here actually so far i used the companion i did not actually manual this okay so it's just Three additional recipe so i actually hire a companion and then just auto it you know just you know save some time okay so these are the materials that you can actually obtain okay you know this element type supposedly limited but right now you can actually farm to your heart's content okay very importantly is this book okay uh which is required to awaken all your armor and then all these materials okay especially all these okay and finally the recipe and then the bomb ash okay so all these are used for crafting materials okay as usual i will be heading to ultima as a source of information and they actually listed the equipment there as well which is awesome okay wait let me just scroll down okay just okay they have a list here so golden helmet here and smart code right here okay let's talk about the smart code first basically like the Nagnarok, the smart code actually has a chance to roll into three types of stats okay namely vital barrier and shield right here okay and the difference as the name suggests give actually gives you different extra stats to their respective role okay so vital of course give you more hp a uh, total of 479 hp okay that's actually a lot for equipment okay total instead of 335 okay then next we have barrier the recommended one they actually give you 21 spirit spr instead of 5 or 10 Okay, which the other two rows which is actually a lot of difference okay so spirit is basically magical defense if i'm not wrong okay and finally shield which gives you nine defense instead of two and four so you can see shield is kind of meh compared to the rest additionally the smart code also grants additional eight magic attack resistance when you plus five i think it's worth the extra amount to actually get this similarly let's take a look at the golden helmet okay the golden helmet it gives you additional eight fire attack resistance when you plus five it comparing it with the general magic attack resistance that the smart code actually has fire attack definitely doesn't appeal as much as the smart codes magic attack resistance okay so the grody helmet can also roll into vital 
barrier and also shield type but this time shield is actually recommended since uh golden helm is surprise for physical users i'm just gonna list down the difference anyways so vital gives you 410 hp instead of 287 hp barrier gives you five spirit instead of one and two finally shield gives you nine defense instead of four and two okay so now we're done with this let's head back over to the game okay so from what i gathered the smart code is actually worth investing in but the golden helm is kind of okayish to use and again since this event actually lets you farm for this mr equipment and also crafting materials try to do it as much as possible even if you can't do them all don't worry since there are actually more farming events in the future that are probably more manageable than this one right here then if that's the case take the time to build your team strong enough to run future events uh, by now you should know that this is a really grindy event so you have to take the extra time out to farm materials to build your team stronger personally since i can't run them on auto i mentioned i use a companion to actually complete them since i can probably farm for the missing three recipes anyway and also join multi even though there's also a risk factor that might fail on auto if you see your team struggling on auto don't be afraid to just turn off the auto and manual it until you can complete it to avoid wasting the host energy and more importantly your own time even if you do not want to craft this equipment you are still gonna need the armor books in the future to craft whatever armor you want so stock them up on this if possible okay the books are actually used to awaken your armor okay so the last thing i want to talk about for this event in particular though it may or may not be obvious so every time there's a new event it can actually go to the achievement rewards here or uh, what the tab actually called milestone okay so there's a lot of things that i want to clear but actually waited for this video okay so almost everything in this game we get extra rewards as long as we keep doing them we keep farming and it's very important to do so since the rewards are very nice and one time only i actually mentioned it in uh, my beginners video or something for this event just need to do it five times and then you get a total of 600 lapis and then two rainbow up so all these events you try to at least complete this but rewards are just really nice to have and they're only one time only and then for multis they actually give you another rainbow up and 300 additional visuals okay and a lot of books and materials as well so really awesome to complete them yeah, i'm just gonna claim them right now okay and since we are here the last thing i want to mention for today's video are these monthly missions in the milestone quest right here okay this is milestone okay so there's actually five tabs here this is really important they give awesome monthly rewards that every player should try to complete them so in story i have actually not done this yet okay they give you even more opening materials okay and then the monthly stuff okay at the right at the very end they give you rainbow ops rainbow ops okay multi quest okay then this one more rainbow ops even the battle okay arena they give you a lot of materials and then rainbow rock okay okay so i'm finally gonna claim this so all these monthly events please remember to do it okay as for the story quest it's fine if you actually you know don't do it every day because you can actually spam you know just keep spamming now it's a good time because there's like two times exp but for the hard quest please remember to do it every day as you are limited to only 10 runs a day so a total of 300 runs if you missed out on maybe just a week it's actually fine because 230 but uh try to do it every day you know shots are so important and then uh this one here okay exp chamber is usually limited by three a day so 70 the month you can probably get around like 80 to 90 you know of these runs okay but you know once again try to do it three times a day to avoid you know not doing it okay and then uh the duo as well so you need a total of 130 okay that's like five in total so 150 in the maximum in a month so roughly you'll get 140 to 150 times you can do in a month so be sure to do that okay so i think that's all for today's video uh didn't expect to take so much time to prepare for this and of course making this video um the editing is also gonna be taking too long hope this actually helps most of you clear any doubts about what to farm since there's actually a lot of grinding in this game so take your time to build your units gacha games are mostly a super long marathon okay last for months and even years so the most important tip for farming is to not burn yourself out playing a mobile game and more importantly to enjoy playing it okay thank you guys for watching subscribe if you have not already like this video and i'll see you guys in the next video peace